Davis, please welcome former Aston Villa and England international, Mr. John Fashionu. Contender ready! <laughs> <laughs> Is there any press in here tonight? Is there any press, people? Because whatever we say tonight goes no further, right? <laughs> John, thanks for coming on the show tonight. Um, we're just interested in, in your career, some of the, the things that you've been through. What, what about the Gary Mabbott incident? You remember the incident when you were accused, allegedly? Allegedly. Allegedly way. of elbowing Gary Mabbott. In the, I actually do Gary Mabbott. Oh, I won't say you bastard. It bloody hurt my face, you bloody <laughs> shark. <laughs> bloody hurt that, dude. Right in the bloody jaw. Who's that, then? That's, that's Who's Gary that? Mabbott, okay. brothers. Yeah. You know, Gary and myself, we go back quite a long way. Obviously, we played against each other for many, many years, as I have with Paul Elliott in the audience. Um, and in football, you give and take. I didn't even know it was Paul, um, it was uh, Mabsy I was going up with challenging. But what I was more disappointed with was the reaction of all the press. Mm -hmm. um, there have been many, many uh, depressed fractures of the cheekbone. And there always will be. I'm sure there have been before my incident with Gary. It was just the way that the press reacted. And if you were able to speak to Gary as I was, mm -hmm. you know, he said that, you know, Flash, this is what happens. It could have been me, it could have been him. But it, you know, it just wasn't deliberate. No. Having said that, you know, I go up to win the ball, um, and I always have done that, so I'm going to... I also accept my fair share of knocks, yeah. uh, and I certainly I give them out as well, or I used to anyway. Yeah. I know John's on stage, I know it's very, and I think he's very brave, actually, to, to, be, to be here tonight, because um, you know some of the problems that he's facing. But when we do our show together, we actually talk about um, what went on with the Bruce Grobler thing, and what do you think about that, George, about is it possible for, for a player to do that? I mean, I remember years ago they, they were talking. I think they were talking about a, a game, and uh, someone said that it was uh, it was three nil. That You're was right. that was the score. That's right. There's going to be, a, yeah. and and I thought uh, I wasn't too sure until at the end of the game, uh, somebody got a penalty and they took it. They backheeled it uh, <laughs> from, <laughs> from, <laughs> from from the corner flag, and then I thought. <laughs> Maybe there's a little bit of truth in it, yeah. No, but seriously, is, 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 is it possible? It's not, is it? I think it's, 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 impossible. it's almost impossible yeah, to throw a game. Yeah. Yeah. Especially 11 against 11. If it's, it's, if it's one on one in, in a sport, yeah, obviously you can throw it, but uh, it's, uh, it's almost impossible 11 against 11. I and I think, Vesti, you know, I think that obviously because of judice, I can't talk about it, but I think to be quite honest, most people know that. Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, you're, you're asking a hell of a lot to get one person to try yeah. and throw. You know, if you had have said to us, well, okay, there's seven or eight or five or six, then, then maybe. But, you know, I've been in the game 16 years. You've been in the game, you know, many times, lo many years longer. Everybody knows the score. But, you know, when you're getting it fanned with the media and they're pumping it and pumping it and pumping it, we're, you know, I'm a high-profile person and, and the rest of the boys are as well involved. And, you know, we've got to go the whole way. What about the rest of the, uh, the current players that you play with? Are they supportive of you? Or? Absolutely fantastic. Not only that, Marsha, you know what's it's really kept me going is the support of the general public. Yeah. You know, it'd be different if you say, well, you know, because if, on the face of it, the way it's written, it looks like you've cheated people out of money mm. coming yeah. to watch a game. But, you know, common sense prevails, and it always will, no matter what uh, the different tabloids will, will write, and certainly one in particular, has got a vested interest in the whole affair. Who's that there? Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, and the support I've had has been fantastic, not only myself, but the other guys as well, talking to those, and I think, you know, but, uh, you know, we want to go the way, you want to clear your name. <coughs> yeah, you right. want to clear your name and make sure, you know, you don't want it just to drop out quietly and someone come round the back. You want to clear your name and make it very clear. It's very important. Brilliant. That'd be good to see on the Paul's panel in the winter, then. <laughs> <laughs> Keep those elbows down. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I think he's been very frank and very open. And yeah. he said, brave to come up here and, and, and face this sort of thing. I'm going to come down and, and take a, a couple of questions from the audience, but before I do, I just want to know what that Scorpio's like. Is she worth one or what? Anyway, <laughs> so, <laughs> gladiator ready! So have we got anyone in the audience who wants to ask a question, bearing in mind that we can't say too much about the um, allegations that are going on? Is there anyone who wants to say? Just put your hand up. There's a gentleman up there. Right, I'll come through and just stick the microphone through, sir. Here you go, what's your name? Uh, Roy Song. Correct. Here you go, Roy, it's your first <laughs> question. Here we go. Hold on, Roy. John. 
all the aggravation and the accusations, have you actually given up because of an injury or because you've had enough with the press? Oh, good, good question. Good question. Yeah. Well, you know, um, whether we had the, the aggravation, I've had most of my career anyway. To be quite honest, I'm used to it. Um, I got an injury the middle of last season against Manchester United, Ryan Giggs, a 50-50 tackle, which he won, and it snapped my knee ligaments. Um, and I, I knew then it was a bad injury, and I knew that there were rugby players who were playing, they built up their thigh muscles just to protect the knee, but it wasn't going to happen. I took the um, advice of three different surgeons who said, look, you know, you're 32 now, if you do come back, you're going to be facing, you know, maybe arthritis later on and all these sorts of complications. You're going to have to have a re building of the knee totally which I didn't want to get into because of my other things I do and he said you know your best is to pack up and this was before any of all this stuff blew up and even to be quite honest even if this had blown up and I've still been playing football you've got to battle on these things they're hurdles in life we all go through them we all go through problems the only difficult difference is that mine are being publicized so much and the rest of the guys to put more pressure on us but we all go through these problems they're hurdles which we got to we got to jump and get on with our life of course, you've had a few injuries. Yes, a round of applause. I'll go along with that. What's it like playing with uh, Vinnie Jones, John? Seriously, I mean, he, he's... <laughs> I don't mean from a skill standpoint. I'm, I'm, I'm... <laughs> no, don't, don't say that. Don't say it wrong. You know, I, I see big Jack Charlton down there. He's looking with a long face there thinking Vinnie Jones. But, you know, he's a good player. He's got a lot better. He came into the game he came into the game with, with not a lot. <laughs> he came into the game with not a lot. He's somebody you want in the trenches. When we go up and we play at Goodison Park on a cold December afternoon, you want someone like Vinnie Jones behind you. I asked you a question about Vinnie Jones because somebody the other night we were doing a show, somebody asked Bestie um, about Colton Palmer and Vinnie Jones. What was that question again? What was the question? Yeah, I think they said to me, do you think Carl Palmer's a better player than Vinnie Jones? <laughs> I said Arnold Palmer's a better player than Vinnie Jones. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, a big thank you from George and Rodney and myself. Please thank John Fashionu. Absolutely. Absolutely.